TP-Link Wi-Fi router. TP-Link Archery 9AC 1900 Dual Band Mu Mimo Gigabit Wi-Fi Router March 14, 2020 Manufacturer Number Archery 9BH Parker 9 Cost $39.95 B&H Website HTTPS colon slash slash www.bhphotovideo.com slash C slash product slash 1468480-reg slash tp underscore link underscore archer underscore a9 underscore ac1900 underscore wireless dot html in the box tp link archery 9ac 1900 dual band mu memo gigabit wi-fi router power adapter rj45 ethernet cable limited to year warranty key features wi-fi 5 802.11 ac 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz dual band Three external antennas and one internal antenna 4X10, 100, 1000MBS Ethernet LAN ports boost the speed and efficiency of your home wireless network with the Archery 9AC1900 Dual Band Mu. Mimo Gigabit Wi-Fi Router from TP-Link. This dual band Wi-Fi router is capable of up to 600 MBS throughput on the 2.4 MHz wireless band and up to 1300 MBS on the 5 GHz band and it comes equipped with three external antennas and one internal. TP-Link Archery 9 Overview Boost the speed and efficiency of your home wireless network with the Archery 9AC1900 Dual Band Mu Mimo Gigabit Wi-Fi Router from TP-Link. This dual band Wi-Fi router is capable of up to 600 MBS throughput on the 2.4 MHz wireless band and up to 1300 MBS on the 5 GHz band and it comes equipped with three external antennas and one internal antenna. 4 gigabit Ethernet LAN ports allow for wired connections to Ethernet equipped computers, TV set-top boxes, game consoles, and other compatible devices. While the gigabit Ethernet 1 port offers a speedy connection to your cable or DSL modem, the Archer 9 support for multi-user MIMO technology enables multiple simultaneous data connections while airtime fairness helps to ensure that slower devices don't slow down the entire network. Beamforming technology is designed to direct the router's Wi-Fi signals toward nearby wireless clients. You can share a printer or a storage device over the network using the router's USB 2.0 Type-A port. Alexa support lets you control the router with voice commands, while IFTTT integration can trigger customizable actions whenever certain devices connect or disconnect from the network. Wi-Fi coverage and beam forming a three external antennas and one internal antenna help to send Wi-Fi signals to every corner of your home. Beam forming technology is designed to detect Wi-Fi devices and concentrate wireless signal strength towards them. Multi-user MIMO technology Archery 9 helps your devices achieve optimal performance with MU MIMO technology. Three simultaneous data streams allow connected devices to achieve speeds up to three times faster than standard AC routers. Efficient Wi-Fi distribution smart connect technology helps the router automatically switch each device's connection to the best available Wi-Fi band, while airtime fairness is designed to prevent older devices from slowing down your network. Security features parental controls, access control, a firewall, support for a guest network, and a VPN server help to boost your online security. Firmware updates can also deliver security enhancements such as WPA3. Alexa and IFTTT support turn on guest Wi-Fi with Alexa voice control and use IFTTT to trigger actions whenever devices connect or disconnect from your network. Easy setup and management you can quickly set up the Archery 9 via its intuitive web interface or the Tether app for iOS and Android. Tether also lets you manage network settings, including parental controls and media sharing, from any Android or iOS device. Additional wireless functions enable disable wireless radio, WD's bridge, WMM, wireless statistics 1 type dynamic IP, static IP, PO, PPTP, dual access, L2TP, dual access, big and DHCP server, DHCP client list, address reservation port forwarding a virtual server, port triggering, up DMZ Dynamic DNS TP Link DDNS, Dyn DNS, No IP Access Control Blacklist, Whitelist Firewall Security DOS, SPI Firewall, 
IPN MAC address binding USB sharing supports Samba. Storage. FTP server. Media server system requirements Microsoft Windows 7 or later Mac OS Netware Unix Linux Java enabled browser other requirements cable or DSL modem subscription with an internet access provider. UPC number 45,973,084,257. TP-Link Archer A9 Specs Wireless Wireless Frequency Bands 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz number of antennas 4 WLAN mode Wi-Fi 5. 802.11 AC sensitivity minus 61 to 93 dBm transmit power 20 to 30 dBm supported protocols IPv4 IPv6 WMM antenna placement external and internal interface ports 4x 0 100 MBS gigabit Ethernet RJ45 1x 0 100 MBS gigabit Ethernet RJ45 uplink 1x480 MBS USB Type-A USB sharing support Yes performance throughput 5 GHz 1300 MBS 2.4 GHz 600 MBS security guest network support Yes wireless security web 64 Web 128 WPA WPA PSK WPA2 WPA2 PSK electrical DC input power 12 VDC at 1.5 A environmental operating temperature 32 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit 0 to 40 degrees Celsius storage temperature 40 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit minus 40 to 70 degrees Celsius operating humidity 10 to 90 percent storage humidity 5 to 90 percent general certifications FCC RCM Rose as per manufacturer dimensions 9.6 x 6.4 x 1.3 inches 243.84 x 162.56 x 33.02 millimeters packaging info package weight 2.24 pounds box dimensions LXWXH 13 x 9.5 x 3.2
after testing the router, trying it out and everything, I'm getting my speed and everything. I just temporarily tested it on my network. Everything's working fine. I'm getting long range. I'm in a 900 square foot space and I'm getting it at every corner. So no issues with coverage. I'm setting this up and the only reason I'm setting it up because I'm a, I have, where I'm setting this up, I already have the Orbi uh, mesh system. So the reason I'm setting this up is because I have a few old devices and they're coming off Apple network devices. And I've always been concerned with that because they no longer update their software. They no longer in the router business, the Apple, uh, com the Apple company. And they're connected to that because the old devices are unable to connect to the mesh. They need a separate 2.4 gigahertz signal. So I found this, I've had this stored away for over a year now. I completely forgot about it. And now I'm using it for something else. And um, I'm using it because of the 2.4 gigahertz signal. This is actually my second one of this. The other one I had, which was, I was gonna use to give away, is not working. It just stopped working. So I'm using this just for that reason, the 2.4 gigahertz. I just need it and I need the coverage. But, and everything's working just fine. It should be no issues connecting those devices whatsoever. So if they're connecting to the Apple device, they're definitely gonna connect to this, but this should, be updated a lot more often than the Apple devices. So I hope the, uh, I know I didn't show a lot and much. I showed, you know, look at and quick menus of the item. Uh, pretty much, you know what, let me give you a quick view of the interface online, because you can connect through a web browser, which is pretty cool. And, um, and then I'll end the video. I don't know if it has an app, I believe. It might have an app, but I'm unsure. So I'm just kind of setting this up and then leaving it alone. It's just, it happened to be our special. I believe I paid about $30 for this, so it's not a big deal. I purchased two of them. One's not working. And this one is, okay. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you. Bye.